Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a makeup haul. These are things that I have accumulated over the past few weeks, months. So we're just gonna kind of touch bases off of the new products and makeup that I got. If you're interested in the um, perfume portion of this, I don't know if it's gonna come out first or before, but if it is out first, I will link it above. And yeah, let's just go ahead and jump into this makeup haul. All right, so the first product that we're gonna be talking about that I went to go grab, yes, makeup shopping at its finest. These are two of the Dior, actually I have three of them. Three of the Dior um, Addict Lip Maximizers. The first one that I have is in number 16. I think this one is called like New Beige, if I'm not mistaken. This is what it looks like. So it's just a pretty nude beige um, lip plumping gloss with a little bit of reflection to it, more champagne. It is so, so gorgeous on the lips. I really, really love it. The next one that I got is Rosewood. This is like a classic nude lip color. So, so pretty, so gorgeous. Absolutely love it on the days that you just kinda wanna throw on and go. This is like the perfect, your lip, but a little bit better. And then the third lip color that I got from Dior is called Shimmer Hazelnut. Now, the reason I got this one is because I'm going on a vacation in September and there's like this little look that I have in my mind that I'm trying to create. Just like super beach goddess, bronzy gold lip, just, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. I just know how I want it to look. And I feel like this mixed with another gloss that I have will be perfect. So this is what this one looks like. I just really love these Dior glosses, these plumping maximizer glosses. They are definitely um, a little pricey for gloss, but they are definitely very, very pretty on the lips. All right, so sticking in the realm of Dior, we're gonna move on to the Dior blushes. These are the new blushes that were released from them, maybe almost like a, maybe a month ago at the latest, um, they released these uh, blushes in correlation to the lip glosses that they have, um, the oil, lip oils that they have, so they released them in blushes form. So you guys know I already have the Rosy Glow Pink and the Rosy Glow Coral, so I just added to my collection and I got the Rosewood one, which looks like this. Packaging, super, super gorgeous. This is what it looks like. And then this is what the blush looks like up close. So that is the rosewood color, super pretty. I love the like in Dior embroider and on that blush. And then the second one that I got was, uh, well is called Mahogany and I love the Mahogany um, lip oil and the lip maximizer. I think I actually have that one. I just have to pinpoint where it is. I'm actually, I, yeah, I do actually have that one. So this is what that one looks like. The packaging is gorgeous as well. This is what the packaging for the mahogany one looks like. A little darker, but still in the same concept of the other ones. And then this is what it looks like on the inside. Super warm, super gorgeous, super chocolatey, and I just felt like on the skin, it would be beautiful. So yeah, I added to my collection of the Dior I mean, blushes. I will say, do not swipe your finger on these because the oils from your fingers will definitely transfer onto these blushes and then create that film that you're gonna have to scrape off. So if you're wanting to try it in store, make sure you use a brush and or sponge. Just don't use your fingers so the oils do not transfer and leave that little mark on top. So next is a lip liner. This one is from One Size, the Patrick Star brand. I love his brand's brand. I love his setting spray. I love his lip liners. I love his blushes. Um, he has some really good staple products in there that I love. His black lip liner is phenomenal. Love, love, love it. So I wanted to give her, his lip liners a try. And they are very affordable. They're like $14 or $15, which is definitely under the price of everybody else inside of Sephora. And it is a classic pencil. However, once it sets, it does not move. It is waterproof. And it's just so pretty. This is the Prime Fresh 
Lip Snatcher Lip Liner, Prime Fish Lip Liner, um, Lip Snatcher. I also have Coin Collector and Rent Do. They are like the brownish ones. I don't even know, it's probably in my bag. Um, but yeah, the two darkest ones. The Coin Collector is the darkest chocolate brown lip liner, and then the uh, Rent Do is the lighter brown option. And those are absolutely one of my favorite lip liners. They are just so, so, so good. So next up is going to be the new Sephora Powder Foundation. This is the Matte Powder Foundation. They re-released um, these powders, their first powders. I did not like, I feel like they went gray. They just, I don't know, they just did nothing, absolutely nothing for me. So I am excited to try this new formula out. I swatched and color matched myself. So the color that I got is 44N. So I can't wait to play with this and see what it looks like on the skin. All right, so moving on, let's move on. We'll stick with the blushes. I got two of the new Givenchy Loose um, Libre Prism Prism Libre blushes. I got number five and number six. So these are like the bare mineral concept powder blushes where they're loose. However, they come with four different colors within the blush um, container. So you're supposed to mix them up and apply them to the cheeks. Make sure you're following me on IG and TikTok because this is where I will be demonstrating both of these blushes and how they look on the skin. Um, so this one is number five and this is what this one looks like. Number five has four different colored pinks for um, deeper to tanner skin that you're supposed to mix together to give you like a beautiful pinky um, rosy glow cheek. So these packaging for this blush is so gorgeous. It has like a little mirror up top. Just very, very pretty. And then number six is more of the peachy colors. So this is what this one looks like. So I am so excited to play with these and see how they look on the skin. I've recently really been feeling and digging Givenchy and their formulas, their lipsticks, and just a lot of their products and their powders. You guys know I really love their powders. So I'm super excited to try out these blushes. So make sure you follow me on IG and on TikTok um, to see how these look and apply on the skin before I actually use them in the video. So I know this whole pink underneath the eyes setting powder is in so i decided to grab all three of the pink powders to see which one best suits us women of color which one acts which one goes better with our skin how it settles how it looks how they just perform so that will also be on an IG um, reel, that will be on my TikTok, and I don't know if I'm gonna upload it here, but if you would like to see how it looks um, before it even releases here, make sure you're following me. So the first one that I got is the Givenchy. I got it in the mini size, because I'm realistically probably not gonna go through all of these pink powders. So if they would have offered them in minis and the other ones, I would have got those too. However, they didn't. So this is what the pink powder looks like from Givenchy. It just has a slight pinkness tint to it. It's not as intense as the Huda and the One Size. So it's just a slight pinky tint. That one is called the Givenchy Light Complexion Powder in Voile Rosé. So that is this one. Then the One Size is definitely a lot pinker. This one is the Ultra Pink Powder and I'm pretty sure you guys have seen this going around. But this is what this powder looks like. Just super vibrant, super pink. Um, so yeah, that's this one. And then we have the My Girl Huda. You guys know that I love Huda powder. This is what this one looks like. Hers is a little lighter than the one size powder. And it's kind of like in between the Givenchy powder and the one size powder. So we're gonna put those powders to the test to see how they um, perform and which one I like better and which one is best for us women of color. Um, so I will have those first on my TikTok and IG and then I'll release a video with those. So yeah. Uh, um, let's do some lipsticks. 
I re just recently purchased some lipsticks from Sephora. I think these have officially been discontinued. Um, these are the Rouge. Well, the colors, these colors are actually still there. They just kind of changed the packaging. Um, this one is Go Girl. This is a nudie type of color. It's more of like a peachy type of color. Like a nudie, light, fair, peachy type of color. Super soft, super creamy. Then we have then we have No Regrets lipstick. And this is more of a brownie, peachy, nude. And it looks like this. So this is what those colors look like. This one has a little bit more pink in it, whereas this one is a little bit more nude. In it. So I just thought those would be super pretty on the lips um, for a nude little lip combo. Now, on to the newest formula from Sephora. I grabbed two different colors because these are so gorgeous. The first one being Me and Only Me. This is number 21. These are what the pack this is what the packaging looks like. This is number 21 and what it looks like. And this is 21 swatched on my hand. It is like the perfect peachy nude. Oh my god, it's so so pretty, and you do not need a lot of pressure to get a lot of pigments. Let me show you 22. 22. So this is one number 22. I'm gonna have to take it back because I got smushed and it's loose. Yeah, I'm not going for it. Um, but it is a very pretty, pretty around. It looks like this. It's like a really warm brown, and I just love how it looks. It's gonna be perfect for the kind of look that I'm trying to achieve. I'm gonna put this to the side so I remember to swap it out. Whew, it's hot up in here. All right, next up, I got a lip gloss from Westman Atelier. Westman, Westman Atelier comes like a little box and a pouch. Took it out the box and it was inside the pouch, but it's just like a nudie. It's just a nudie lip gloss, super creamy, super just very pretty, not like crazy. It's just a very pretty, there we go, a very pretty color. And I feel like this is a great lip topper color for any type of nude look. Really love this one. I have another one in my bag. Next up is going to be from Danessa Myricks. This is the Yummy Skin Tint Serum. I already uploaded a little video on this on my IG of me using it. So if you would like to see it, make sure you head over there. However, I got number 13. This is super lightweight, perfect for summer. The everyday person that just wants a little bit of color without doing too much. You can dress this up and you can also keep it natural. So that is why I got this. It feels so pretty on the skin. It's super dewy, super glowy, just very, very pretty so i can't wait to i'm actually going to do a video on this on this channel for the everyday natural girl that just wants a little bit of oomph so yeah please make sure you put them notifications on so you can see when i um, release this one all right so let's move into skincare so i've recently been using the shani darden moisturizer intense moisturizer with peptides i think and let me tell you i hands down love that moisturizer it is so hydrating it is so rich so creamy it just makes my skin feel so supple just it is a very good moisturizer i typically use it at night just because it is a little heavier it's more intense however i can also use it during the day if i'm just doing a natural skin day it is a beautiful moisturizer i love it so me just kind of scrolling and scanning she also has a cleanser so I definitely got the cleanser. This is like a cleansing serum balm. I tried it in store. I washed it on my hands. Super soft, just super luxury, luxurious feeling. Um, and then it leaves your skin very, very soft. And it was very affordable. Well, not very affordable, but it was more affordable than the other ones. Um, some other ones. Um, but I'm excited to try this. I'm always, almost out of my other um, cleansers. I was like, yeah, this is the perfect time to try her cleanser. As well as her eye cream. So I just recently purchased the Laneige um, Water Bank Eye Cream, which is upstairs. So that is a new purchase as well. However, I'm currently using it and I don't feel like going upstairs to grab it. So with that being said, I have the Laneige Water Bank Eye Cream. So I typically like to use that during the day because I recently grabbed this one from Shani as well. And this is the Intense Eye Cream Renewal, Intense Eye Renewal Cream with Firming Peptides. 
So I was like, perfect. This can go at night, a little heavier, a little bit more oomph at night, just to make it, a, just to kind of balance it out. My skin can just kind of do its thing while I'm asleep. And I will use the Laneige water one in the daytime. So if I'm about to do makeup, it doesn't sit on the skin. So I have a day and a night, and I'm super excited to try this one. I tried this one on the back of my hand, and when I tell you, it was just like so luxurious feeling, and just, it was a very pretty one. So I will keep you guys updated, but so far, I love her line. So I'm excited to try these, and this is what they look like. All right, and last but not least, this is another cleanser that I got. This is from Tata Harper. So I have been kind of looking into her as well. This is the Super Kind Refining Cleanser, hypoallergenic. It's supposed to be really good. Um, this, uh, let me read the claims of this one. The cushiony exfoliating cleanser delicately exfoliates away dead skin. Skin cells removes buildup and polishes without irritation. Ultra fine rice powder, gentle cranberry enzymes, and a combination of nutrient rich oils uh, simultaneously refine and nourish to reveal a radiant, smooth, and calm complexion. So I got this because I wanted to try this one um, in replace of my exfoliating one because I'm almost out of that one. You guys know I use the um, Tasha um, Deep Cleansing Exfoliating Face Wash. So I was like, let's try it out since that one is almost done. I will leave my um, skincare routine um, up above so you guys can check it out. Um, so yeah, new face stuff. All right, guys, so this completes the haul for today. I hope you uh, enjoyed. I don't know if I'm gonna be hauling anytime soon. Yeah, so I don't know if I'm gonna be hauling anytime soon because the current hauling, because back to school is coming, is gonna be for them. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave me any new products that you got down below that you think I should like scope out and try eventually. If you've tried any of these products and you love them, please list them down below. Let me know what you love about them. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also hit that post notification bell so you stay up to date every time I upload and you don't miss the upload. Also, please share if you think anybody would enjoy hauling just as much as I do or like to watch hauls like I do. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. And until next time, bye guys.